Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, we're going to talk about hydrogen bonds. So we just got done talking about nonpolar and polar covalent bonds. So you'll see that what's true for the polar covalent bonds holding hydrogen and oxygen together in a water molecule is also true for the entire water molecule as a whole. So because the uh, negative electrons are going to spend more time near oxygen because it's so big and has so many positive protons to pull them, the oxygen side of water is going to be partially negative. And because hydrogen is so weak, it's losing its electron more often than it's, than it's receiving and in the, in the sharing relationship, they're going to have a positive, a partial positive charge. So it's called a dipole-dipole interaction because the a dipole is anything that has two poles. So this, this water molecule has two poles. The, the other water molecules are also going to have two poles, which is going to form them to, or allow them to interact with one another. And this is, this is where the hydrogen bond is going to come from now. And this is super important because this is what gives water molecules its special attributes, which we'll cover in a separate video. So here we see, so before we saw a single water molecule having a partial negative and po partial positive charge. Now we see it in action. So notice where it says hydrogen bond there. The partial negative end of that oxygen on the bottom is attracted to the partial positive end of the hydrogens. So that one oxygen is attracted to both those hydrogens above it, and this would go on and go on and go on. So here's, uh, here's what a hydrogen bond is actually. So water is the most important example for sure. But when a hydrogen that's already part of another, of another uh, molecule has a partial negative charge, or partial positive charge, I apologize, that is attracted to the partial negative charge of a molecule that has fluorine, oxygen, like here, or nitrogen in it, that's where, that's where hydrogen bonds are going to form. And there are other hydrogen bonds that are important, but the hydrogen bonds that form between water molecules are the most important one that we're going to focus on. So just remember that. Oxygen here has a partial negative charge because it gets the electrons more often than not. That part opposites attract. So the partial negative end of one water molecule is attracted to the partial positive end of every other water molecule that's in the area. So uh, why are they so important? Hydrogen bonds, you know, make water, water, which is awesome, but also they influence the shape of proteins and DNA. So super, super important. So that is hydrogen bonds. We'll come back in the next video and talk about uh, this amongst other things. What makes water so special? All right. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.